Hey everybody, Ryan here with The Lawn Channel, and it's been a while. It's been a while since I've been able to do a video. The time change has really messed me up because uh, by the time I get home from work, it's dark, and I haven't done anything to the yard since the last video. I don't even think I've mowed it. So with that said, I'm gonna try a few other things uh, to keep my creative spirit going throughout these uh, cooler months. And I've kind of gotten into sharpening knives. I've never been into this m my entire life, and. So first thing I did was uh, I bought a, uh, a sharpening stone on Amazon. It was like a double grit stone. One side was uh, one side of the stone was a thousand grit, the other side was six thousand grit. And I was trying to sharpen it, and it went well, but it just took forever. So I was like, I'm going to keep diving into this and find out, you know, what's the quickest way that I can sharpen a knife for a low amount of money. Which is why I'm doing this video because. I feel like there's probably a lot of you out there that may be interested in sharpening your knives, whether it's your kitchen knives or pocket knife or whatever. And uh, this is the system. Let's go ahead and hold that up for you. This is the uh, razor sharp edge making system. Basically, it's two pieces of MDF that they've cut into uh, a wheel. One side has grit and the other side has these slots and basically you just put a rouge um, polishing compound on that side and uh, these two wheels will allow you to get your knife really sharp. So uh, what comes in the package, like I said, you get these two wheels that I've just mounted onto this bench grinder. This is a Central Machinery 6 inch bench grinder from Harbor Freight. It was like $39 or maybe a little less. So not too bad. The wheels were like $55 or $60, so a little over uh, 100, about 100 bucks into the system. But uh, I've been uh, amazed by it. I've had it since yesterday. So one day with it, and I've been incredibly happy. Um, so this is 180 grit silicone carbide, silicon carbide, and uh, they send you this to regrit this wheel. Uh, I don't know when I'll have to do it, if I'll have to do it. I don't know if I'll sharpen enough to do that, but there is uh, this here. I don't really know how to do it either, but I think there are some videos on YouTube on how to uh, regrate your wheel. Also, they send this block here. It's a uh, just a rouge, and uh, you just plop that up on the wheel as the wheel's spinning, and it'll apply the rouge. And then also, they send you this uh, wax and this goes on the gridded side here and the wax just basically uh, helps to keep things cool you know anytime you're sharpening knives you want to keep the knife cool you don't want to let it uh, get hot it jeopardizes the integrity of the steel all right so this is the knife i'm using this pocket knife off of uh focus focus anyway so this is the knife i'm using it's a pocket knife off of amazon it's like ten dollars uh, i've already sharpened it once but i've dulled it back out um, i just wanted something to try this on and so i'm going to try this cut paper here So it's trying, it's ripping, it's ripping the paper, so. All right, so this here is the gridded wheel. And um, first thing we're gonna do is wax this up. So it comes with this wax here. And uh, it says just to apply some wax. It's really probably got enough on there, but we'll apply a little bit more. When you're sharpening a knife, there's different angles for different things and I generally uh, like to cut, I like that kind of 20 to 25 degree angle. If you can see, this is straight up and down uh, or straight with the wheel here flat and that is considered zero degrees. This would be considered 90 degrees, okay? Half of that is 45, so I like to cut about half of 45 or so, like this. That's how I like to uh, sharpen my wheel. That's the angle that I like to put on here. 
Now I have this set up so that the wheel spins this way. And when the way, you want the blade uh, of your knife, the sharp edge of your blade, to go to face the direction the wheel is spinning. So if the wheel spins that way, you want your blade to also be this way. If the wheel spins this way and your blade's pointed at you here, then you're gonna catch the, the blade in the wheel and it's not gonna be good. Probably gonna throw it at you. Let's sharpen this thing up.